in our attempts to bring you glimpses of incredible India's wonderful melas, we are here in a place called Jaleshar, which is 60 kilometers north of Kolkata. We are here to celebrate what's called the Chorok Mela, and it marks the beginning of the Bengali New Year. A fair with people, lots and lots of people. People who come together once every year. And what brings them to this small village in West Bengal's North Chopish Parganas is faith. It's a kind of faith that is today difficult to find, especially if you're living in the cities. But in Jaleshwar's Charak Mela, this frenzied act of faith has been playing out since any of its residents can remember. Unlike many other melas, this one is essentially a rural affair. Most of the devotees who come here are from the neighboring villages. And we are told that it is the love of God that brings people here. According to legend, the holy stone or the shivling that sits inside the temple was found in this very pond. And so, every year the Mela begins with a holy snan. As you can see, there's considerable excitement here about the snan, which is about to begin shortly. People are waiting here around the edge of the pond, waiting for the announcement to begin, and then they'll go in for the dip in this holy pond. Once the snan is over, the devotees rush to the temple for a glimpse of the presiding deity, which is Shiva, the Lord of Ascetics. Those who take part in the holy dip have taken on a vow of abstinence a month before the Mela. During this month, they have only two meals a day of very simple food that they have cooked themselves. They also dress very simply and sleep on the floor. An important part of the Charak Mela is that the devotees who are mostly family men and women take on the role of ascetics or sannyasis. And for these once in a year sannyasis, this is a duty of faith that allows them to reflect on the year and life gone by. But it's a different kind of reflection, one that is done in a group with all the sound and fury that comes with doing things in a group. The excitement here is pretty palpable. It's almost like watching a football match in one of Kolkata's many football crazy stadiums. People here are trying to install the shivling inside the temple, which is one big part of the whole ritual of the snan of the Charak Mela's first day. The darshan of the deity over the leaves of the bale plant, a favorite of Shiva, are then scattered among the sannyasis. Those who get the leaves or pieces of them will keep them safely for the next part of the Mela Pujo. A fair like the Charak Mela seeks to remind people about the cycles of life, where seasons change, crops get ready, children grow up, and time moves both forward and full circle. While the fair is all about the ascetic aspects of Shiva, these popular symbols of marriage are a big hit among the women who come here. These bangles made of seashell that has been sliced, carved, stuck together and varnished is a big takeaway for the women. Of course, another big takeaway is food, especially after all that fasting and eating simply. The area around the Gangetic Delta, which is also the world's largest, has no shortage of water bodies. Fish ponds can be found in every village, and these become a big source of the hottest dish 
in every Bengali household. The fish to a Bengali is like water is to the fish. No Bengali meal is complete without at least one fish dish in it. I'm going to sample something called Machir Jhol, which is quite a staple of the Bengali household. Let's see if I have a stomach for the hot spices of Bengal. The Bahrupia tradition of Northern India has its own version in West Bengal. It is a deeply spiritual exercise where the devotee tries to take on aspects of his or her favorite deity. I've got a great opportunity to paint the great lord which is Mahadev myself. So I'm going to make the most of it. This not only makes them feel closer to God, but also helps create a visual drama that adds to the mood of the fair. Other sannyasis carried pots of holy water on their shoulders. This they will use later to pour onto the shivling inside the temple. Most of the Charak Mela devotees will spend the whole night here. And here they will be treated to a rock concert like atmosphere and a stage that has been set ablaze by a rock star like singer of the Baal tradition. Baal singers have occupied a unique place in Bengal's rich and politically active village life. The singers wander from place to place singing about love and of its amazing quality of transcending borders. What you just saw is an example of the deep-rooted faith and devotion that lies at the heart of a Mela like this. It's something that has equivalence all over the country and it defines village life from across the four corners of India. With that, we've come to a point where we need to take a small break in our episode. When we come back, we'll take you to what is perhaps the highlight of the Charak Mela, so don't go away.
Welcome back after the break. We are now going to take you to see something that may seem a bit out of the ordinary and mind-boggling to first-timers. But as you watch it, you will realize that it holds a very deep meaning and significance for the devotees who come here, sometimes walking great distances. Another big ritual of the Mela Pujo is a literal leap of faith that many people here find it necessary to take. As recently as a few years back, devotees used to put iron hooks through the skin of their back and hang from it. But with more awareness, rituals like these have stopped. But as I saw with my own eyes, this one still continues. Devotees climb onto a bamboo bridge and jump from there. And I can tell you this much, it's definitely not for the faint-hearted. Devotees are going to test their faith by going onto the scaffolding and jumping from there. There'll be a row of knives below, above a net, and they're going to jump, and those who come out unscathed means that they are true believers and those who don't, God help them. What we just saw was devotees jumping from a scaffolding onto a net that was made of rope and had blades exactly like this. The difference was there were many such blades and they were attached to a wooden handle much like this one. Another test of faith that devotees willingly put themselves through is climbing the palm tree top and circling the part that has the densest and the hardiest of thorns. अभी जो हमने देखा लोग इसके ऊपर चढ़ के गए थे 
उसका क्या महत्व है क्यों लोग करते हैं ऐसा इतना मुश्किल से इतना आसानी से ऊपर चढ़ गया इतना खिला से अंदर एक भी खिला भी नहीं गिरा यही भगवान के देखने का मोहब्बत था तो इतना आदमी भीड़ करके देखा एक भी आदमी को कोई मुश्किल नहीं हुआ कितना अच्छे से चढ़ गया अच्छे से निकलने आ गया और फर्स्ट जो रूल है उसमें एक पेड़ आता है इसको उसमें निकलने के लिए ऊपर चढ़ा Bengal is also known for its cornucopia of handicraft traditions and since bamboo is found in great abundance here one of the many attractions of the mela is naturally the things made out of the humble bamboo some of the things that we see here are straight out of the village life of west bengal for example this hat that is used by paddy workers to save themselves from the sun when they are working on the paddy fields and this of course is um isko kya bolte sook 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 it's a sook that they used to sort of uh, remove the the husk from the rice bangla phulo ache those are mats that are made specially over here they are very handy in the summer months when they they need to sleep outside bahar sone ke liye ha great ये किसके काम में आता है चालने का काम आता है दिस इज यूज एज अव टू सर ऑफ रिमूव दस्क फ्रॉम द ग्रेन छानने के लिए आता है काम में अगेन दीज नाइफ कम इन वेरी हैंडली स्पेशली फॉर वर्कर्स लाइक हिम हु मेक स्टफ आउट ऑफ बैम्बू लवली ये भी बैम्बू से बना है ब्यूटिफुल एज यू कैन सी दिस इज द मोस्ट एक्सपेंसिव आइटम इन द शॉप It's for 500 rupees, and it's quite lovely. इसको बनाने में कितना टाइम लगता है? दो दिन बहुत टाइम है. It takes him two days to make this, and uh, that's why it's perhaps very expensive. It also uses a lot of effort and uh, carving and patience. For the devotees who come here, the mela is also a place where, by the sheer force of their devotion, they can appease the gods, who in turn will grant them their wishes. One way of doing this is by tying a knot. वो भगवान का कुछ मांगने से बनता है वो जो कुछ लड़का चाहिए लड़की चाहिए किसी को बीमारी हो गया किसी को शादी होने के लिए किसी को अच्छा कोई लड़की के पसंद किया उसके लिए बन रहा है और जो बन रहा है वो नेक्स्ट साल आके जिसको जो शौक पूर्ण हो गया वो वही खोल के पूजा करके चला जाता है ओके सो एज यू कैन सी पीपल टाई नॉट्स ओवर हियर इन द स्टोन एंड मेक अ विश एंड व्हेन दैट विश कम्स टू दे कम हियर एंड अनटाई इट एंड रिमूव द स्टोन विजुअली स्पीकिंग द चरक मेला हैज अ डिस्टिंक्ट यूनिफॉर्म इन व्हिच two colors dominate and mind you these aren't any randomly selected colors instead they are very strongly associated with the deeper wisdom of the soil yahan pe zyada tar log lal pehen ke aaye hain lal ya safed rang ke kapde pehne hain to bhagwan ka kyu pehne hain kyu pehen ke aaya bhagwan ka pooja karne ke liye jo ladies log hai uska main main pehne ka dress red color aata hai aur jo gents aadmi hai उसका मेन कलर व्हाइट कलर होता है इसके लिए वो जो मादर है ना काली है काली का मेन पोशाक रेड कलर आता है और जो शिव है शिव का मेन कलर धोती पंजा भी आता है धोती आता है इसके लिए रेड कलर फेर के आदमी लोग आता है Public displays of culture have been the soul of Bengal's social awakening since the 19th century Bengal Renaissance, and this tradition is still very much alive in its villages, where men and women, young and old, rich and poor, all pool in to organize performances that have a social message, one that will give them much to think about in the year to come.
our new year, as you can see, has been full of fun, frolic and adventure. But we have to finish the episode with that. We hope that you enjoyed yourself as much as we did. Until the next